All right, everybody, how's it going? So we all know what happened on Tuesday. November 5th, Donald Trump won the election. He decimated Koala Heels Up Harris. He even won the popular vote. On top of that, the Republicans have control over the Senate. They got majority there. And they look like they're going to have control over the House as well. The reason why I'm mentioning this is quite simple. Is because entertainment, all of entertainment, is going to retaliate against this. We all know actors don't know when to shut the fuck up and stick to their lane and just, you know, be actors and at least pretend, you know, their job, pretend to not hate their fans. We all know, of course, devs and writers and all that kind of stuff are going to retaliate by making entertainment involving even more politics than it already does. And of course, comics, you know, that has been political for quite some time, even though comics are kind of dropping off compared to manga by a long shot. And in the last seven days, I have articles I'm going to show you of people doing this already. It hasn't even been seven days, actually. It's been less than a week. But first, I want to give you an example of the proof that this does happen. So we all know Dustborn. We all know it, but no one played it because obviously the game's dog shit. But back in August on that Parks Place, they had this article called The Wokest Game Ever Dustborn Has Abysmal Player Numbers on Release Day. Now, in the article, it says, back in July following the release of the game's trailer, so this is July following the trailer, a representative for the game conducted an interview with PSU and confirmed the entire game spawned out of protests against Donald Trump being elected president of the United States in 2016. So this is evidence that a video game became political, was created based on politics, solely because a presidential election with Donald Trump. And now he won again. Not only did he win, like I mentioned, it's not like the Republicans have the presidency and then the House and Senate is controlled by the Democrats. No, it's all red. This is going to cause a shit storm. I am dead serious. It's been less than seven days and we already have evidence of this. A prime example is going to be, so this is from Bounty in the Comics. It says, Action Comics writer Mark Wide Weird, I don't fucking know, considers retirement due to re-election of Donald Trump. I don't believe in the basic goodness of my fellow Americans anymore, and without this, I cannot write superheroes. What kind of dumb shit is that? But let's go into his tweets real quick. So what he said was this, is, Even if by some miracle this turns around, I don't believe in the basic goodness of my fellow Americans anymore, and without this, I cannot write superheroes. There's no point. When you see a decline in the quality of my work soon, you'll be able to trace it back to this night. And this was at 11, 11 p.m. on November 5th, election day, when he realized, oh shit, the fucking whore didn't win. On top of this, someone else responded to him. This Pete Woods is just this guy, you know. He said that, how is this happening? I'm wrecked. I used to believe in the basic goodness of people. This virtue signaling pussy. And this Mark Weird said, I generally don't know how to go on. I don't believe in anything I write anymore, and I probably never will. Maybe time to sell everything I own and retire here in California, where I'll stand the best chance of being safe. California where there are fucking homeless people stabbing, killing, raping, and everything. California, where in tourist areas during the day, there's no tents, but the second night hits, it's tent city, and there are times when you can't even get out your front door of your apartment complex because some hobo illegal has made a tent there, and you can't even call the police to get him the fuck out. This idiot, and these are, the, these are these people, these are the people in California, these are the people in Hollywood, in comics, and video games, they are this delusional and stupid. But I have even more examples, because like I said, less than one week, we already have these people coming out and throwing temper tantrums. Now this is another one, it's a small one, this is from Fandom Pulse, it is Director of Cinematography at Lucasfilm, Joel Aaron... Aaron, whatever the fuck it is, attacks Donald Trump and his supporters. Now, what this guy did is he said, fuck this disgusting scrotum skin sack and all who support him. 
which isn't really much. It's just kind of dumb as shit. He's just being a fucking pussy. You know, he's just having a temper tantrum. But then he also said in 2020, he posted this picture, I believe, on Instagram that says losers in 1865 with a Confederate flag. Okay. Losers in 1945 with a Nazi flag. And then losers in 2020 with a Make American a great, uh, great again hat, which is, of course, you know, calling Republicans Nazis and racists, I guess, even though Republicans are not socialists and the left loves socialists and the Nazis were the National Socialist Workers Party. These people are fucking retarded. And it just goes to show that even in four years, this guy hasn't grown the fuck up. Now, of course, this is just a fucking director of cinematography. Who cares? Well, I got more. This is just one article. We have Caravan Sandwich Developer Attacks Donald Trump Supporters. You're a piece of shit. Please unfollow and refund the game. This is a developer of an indie game. The one thing you do not want to do is attack people when you're an indie developer. You're not some major fucking famous writer. You're not some naughty dog retard who's woke as shit and you can afford kind of of being a woke piece of shit because Naughty Dog has such a big ass name attached to it. Indie developers should do their best to never mention politics. And this bitch is attacking the fans that she probably doesn't even have, if we're being honest. So on November 6th, the day after election, when it's very clear Donald Trump won, this dumb bitch posted a picture that says, stay, uh, stay strong, friends. Okay, kind of, you know, like passive aggressive shitting on Donald Trump winning and all the supporters, nothing that big. But we have the Dread Roberts over here on Twitter. This is what he said. He, quote, he showed the picture as well that I just mentioned, the Stay Strong Friends, and said, If I ever become a game dev, one thing I'll never do is use my platform to cry about a political candidate winning an election. Like everyone's supposed to. Unprofessional behavior and a quick way to push customers away. Duh. This is very clear. Entertainment is supposed to be escapism from reality. You don't put reality into your game. But of course, this dumb bitch couldn't help itself. The developer said, well, I sure hope you never become a game dev. I don't care what you think being professional is. My friends are losing their rights. This is not a game. What rights are you losing? The literal only rights you have are the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments, and then the other amendments that came afterwards. There's a total of 27. Abortion, because I know that's what this cunt is talking about, is not a right. I'm even for abortion. Stupid people like you should not be having kids. But that's not a right. That is actually the 10th Amendment, which literally says anything not covered under the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, is to be determined by the states. So abortion being determined by the states like it is, is actually a right of the states. These people are this level of fucking stupid it 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 hurts and the dumb bitch even goes further and says also obviously if you voted trump you're a piece of shit please unfollow and refund the game and then it says everyone else take care now i believe this is a tranny or something i don't fucking know um it's it's maybe it's not i can't quite fucking remember these people are all fucking dumb as shit but you understand what I'm getting at. These people are fucking retarded. These people don't understand what rights mean or anything. But it gets worse. We have even more people. From Phantom Pulse again, we have Dragon Age the Veil Guard. You know that failure of a game that everyone knew was going to be a failure because it was woke retardation and it looked like a mobile game? Well, Dragon Age the Veil Guard writer Lead writer, actually, Patrick Weeks melts down after Donald Trump wins U.S. election for president. Now, the funny thing about this is this guy is a super pussy. He never even writes any of the tweets. Like, he never says anything. He just retweets. He retweets this one dipshit that says, Lauren O'Donnell talking about how the Electoral College is a massive voter suppression technique, and it enrages me that, we're, that we... 
are still being controlled by white fucking enslavers centuries later. All while people refuse to even remember the words white supremacist. I'm losing brain cells just reading these people. But I'll even post a couple others up here. I'm not going to even go through what this guy is reposting because he's not saying it. He's just reposting what other retards are saying because he's too retarded and doesn't have the balls to actually say shit himself. So at least pretend like you have balls and say something yourself so I can come at you and shit on you for saying dumb shit, not just shitting on everyone else. Because essentially, he's kind of going the route of, well, I didn't say it. I'm just reposting other people's beliefs to start a conversation. That's what these kind of people do. But worse yet, we have idiots threatening suicide. Fandom on uh, Fandom Pulse, because I'm going to be covering pretty much most of these articles. Star Trek Voyager actor Tim Russ threatens to poison himself if Trump wins. Essentially, he showed a picture of a bottle of champagne if Koala wins, and then a bottle of Drano if Trump wins. Yeah, I really hope he chugged that bottle of Drano. Darwinism obviously missed you. Darwinism missed all of you idiots in general and i'm all for some post-birth fucking darwinism now we have actually something else because this is this is unique i didn't think it could get much stupider but it, it did it did doctor who actor sylvester mccoy attacks donald trump on x ahead of american election and the reason why this is so unique he didn't say it he has a manager posting on twitter of what he said he has a, his manager post, Sylvester wants to remind Doctor Who fans in America that Donald Trump is the absolute opposite to everything the Doctor stands for. The opposite to everything you love about the series. Please remember that when you're, when you're, vo when you're voting, uh, uh, it's hard to read because I'm just, con at first I thought he was talking third person, but like, dude, dude, why can you not type your own tweets? I, I don't understand it. Do you not have hands? Are you retarded? Wouldn't surprise me. You are saying this shit. So even the people in charge of your Twitter account are not saying, hey, you probably shouldn't be doing this. No, the manager not only greenlit it, he actually apparently posted it himself. Oh my God. So the last thing, because this is just... It's only going to get worse. We're going to get more of these articles, dude. We all know we're going to get more of these articles. We have the famous crybaby bitch, Mark Hamill. Star Wars actor Mark Hamill reacts to Donald Trump's win. This is not the America we all thought we were living in. So, essentially his tweet, of course, he was saying a whole bunch of other stuff, like saying that Donald Trump is going to go to prison after the election and all that kind of dumb shit, but... After he, Donald Trump won the election, this is what Mark Hamill said. They say we get the leers we deserve. Either that has been disproven or this is not the America we all thought we were living in. It's not. He's actually correct. This is not the America you thought that you were living in. This is not an America where woke retardation is allowed to even exist anymore. The majority of people do not like woke retardation. As a matter of fact, for those who don't know, when it comes to voting, only around 150 or so million people vote, which is only, and that's total, that's total, 120 to 150. I believe that's only around 50 to 60% of the total amount of people in the country that are, that are able to vote. They are 18 or above. A little over half of the entire population that can vote does. The rest of America does not like woke shit. If you go out to a town or to a small area in the middle of the country, away from cities, that you will, if you, if you are a man in a dress and you go to those areas, you'll probably get your ass beat. You'll definitely get your ass beat if you go into the fucking ghettos looking like that shit. Because I was a goddamn prison guard for five years. And I'll tell you right goddamn now, the fucking ghetto gangbangers, the fucking the literal convicts for rape and murder and gangbanging and shooting and all that stuff... They hate that stuff. They hate woke stuff. They will vote Democrat because Democrats are promising them everything. 
But Mark Hamill does not understand that this world of inclusivity, of virtue signal, of all that shit, it doesn't exist. No one, even the voters for this shit, don't want it. They just want free shit. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll cover, I'll probably see if I can put all these articles in the description so you guys can read them in full if you want to. But yeah, this is just the beginning. It's been less than a week. I'm recording this on the 10th. It's been five fucking days. Five days. And these people are already flipping out. I'm betting it's going to be about two years before they calm down. And there's going to be less articles. But then they're going to calm down from social media. And then go right on into, of course, creating more woke shit. They're probably already rewriting some projects that may have been decent to be political because that's what they do. They're going to use the abilities they have to be activists, not entertainers. And that is my biggest problem. If your job is to shut up and act, to shut up and sing, to shut up and write, then you do that. If you want to be an activist, quit your fucking job and you go be an activist. You want to be a politician? Same thing. If not, shut the fuck up. Do your fucking job. Entertain me, bitch. Dance for me, pussy. That's your job. Actors are supposed to pretend to care. You can at least pretend to care about not pissing off your literal paycheck, the, the, the fans. When it comes to people who create video games, your job is to create escapism. No one's going to play your shit if they are reminded of the real world. They're not. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. Are you going to be buying like any of these like dumbass video games that are clearly woke? Are you going to like maybe wait for reviews and all that kind of stuff? I know like there's big games that are coming out people are excited for. I don't trust them. Hell, Grand Theft Auto 6, I don't trust it whatsoever. Two of the three writers for the past 20 years of Grand Theft Auto of Rockstar left after Red Dead Redemption 2. So Grand Theft Auto 6 is probably going to be fucking woke. There's only one of the original three lead writers left to make Grand Theft Auto 6. Because like I said, 2020 is the actual date, I believe, that they left. My only advice is for everybody to wait for reviews before you buy any big purchase in any of entertainment, movies, games, comics, books, anything is only going to get worse. But anyway, with that said, tell me what you guys think. I appreciate you guys all for watching. And until next time, have a good one.